first of all, that was not the Savannah team you guys faced last year. This was a team that could hit the three. They'd challenge you. They knew when to foul. Tonight was a very, it was a great game, <laughs> great competition. Uh, what'd you think? I'm sure it was fun to watch. Uh, yeah, you're right. They're a lot better than they were a year ago. They're all a year older. They mostly have one senior and junior, so they've gotten better. And uh, in the MEC, I guess that's what you come to expect every night. I mean, no, there's no easy teams. And, uh, we get to start off a conference year 1-0, and it's a district opponent, so uh, it's, it's a good night for us. And, and they, they, we give Savannah credit, they played well, they played real well. And Laney, you took a hard, hard foul to force this thing in, I think double overtime. Uh, getting back up there and knowing what was at stake going to the free throw line, what was that? What was going through your head, especially after that? It was a real hard foul. You could see it. I mean, what was going on there? Um, I, I was just excited to have the opportunity to maybe put us into double overtime. I struggled with the pressure situations last year, but I think that like the more you get into them, the easier it comes. And uh, that that last exchange in double overtime, I mean, what was that like when you when you dished the ball to Olivia? Were you like, did does everyone know she could hit the three? I mean, that's... Oh, she's hit three or four this year. I think. No, yeah, she can hit. I, the three. I don't. I wouldn't recommend that shot with the time on the clock and with a one point lead. But I'll give her credit; she made it. Um, <laughs> so. She can be happy about that, and everybody can be happy about that. And hopefully we learn something from it. Absolutely. And uh, double overtime, what was that like being a part of tonight's game? It was just crazy back and forth. What was that like just being on the court tonight? No, yeah, it's always fun to have the opportunity to play even more. Like, instead of just four quarters, we had an extra quarter tonight. So it was fun. That's our first game going into overtime yeah. this year. So And last year. Yeah. And down by eight, what did you guys have to do to make those adjustments? Because uh, it was... There's a lot of uh, distance there starting out the first, uh, second quarter, but what did you guys do to kind of shift things around? Um, we had some people make some shots, you know. I mean, obviously, Laney made made some really tough shots uh, all night long, and uh, Braxton came up, hit a few, hit a couple threes. Avery had some nice steals and layups, and some good shots. Liv had some good good uh, uh, buckets in the paint. And, Mike hit a big three, so we didn't play a lot of girls tonight, which I don't like that. But it was just I felt that we couldn't couldn't really do that tonight. And uh, you know, you got 28 points, but there's you had two teammates who got into double digits. Or was it was it 20? Yeah, 20, yeah uh, but you had two teammates also getting into double digits. Uh, kind of describe tonight's game offensively, especially against that tough defense they played on you. I mean, it was man to man pretty much all night. They were pretty. So fourth quarter, they played as a zone in overtime. Okay. Okay. Kind of doubled her. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, I mean, what was that like? Um, I mean, the man to man, we've practiced that in practice. We obviously have our scout team and we go over and over and over it. But it's a little di bit different getting in the game and seeing it when it's a different level of players. So it was definitely tough to adapt, but I think that we got it done. Absolutely. And a final question is what do you got? What's going on next? Is it the Lathrop tournament? Yeah, uh, we play Monday at 7 30. Okay. We play at 6. Okay. And who do you guys, who do you guys got to face? Play Van Horn. Okay. I see. They're pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> or am I thinking about another school? They might think about somebody else, maybe. Okay. They're all right. I mean, they got some couple good players. All right. In a tournament ball, it always gives you an opportunity to try new things, show new looks, try that new fifth player if you haven't, or even fourth in some instances. But uh, what are you guys looking to accomplish in this tournament? Well, Aside want, from winning, yeah. Win <laughs> um, that's the number one goal. But secondly, we want to we want to make sure we get better together and as a team. And, individually and learn for the end of the end of the season so we can hopefully make a run and a final question goes to you laney they say these d tight games this is what sculpts teams for the future you're going to see these folks later on in the mec tournament like probably uh how do you feel about tonight yeah well, it's not going to get any easier than it was tonight so we're just gonna have to come out every night to play and win and hopefully we can win conference and go in far into districts